Right, this drill here is going to incorporate the football again. You got your six bags. Use cones if you got them. There's no sense in going out and buy stuff that you don't exactly need. Space them out in the same lengths as his bags. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a high knee, fast run through. So why don't you stimulate that section first so we can see it. He's driving his arms, driving his knees. You're going to get to this point here. Put this cone out about eight yards. And what we're going to do is as soon as he gets through it here, he's going to turn the corner. And then you're going to be here ready to deliver the football. The key is that we want to start working with training that's going to incorporate the football as we're working with agility. So when he rounds that corner, be ready to hit him as soon as his vision comes up. He's going to come to this cone here, make a quick turn, get out and go. Most important thing, again, is you deliver the football before the receiver turns and looks at you. You really got to start working your, with your receivers or even if linebackers are backs the most important thing is we start working with vision and receiving the football. So when he rounds that corner, throw it before he turns and looks, he's going to catch it and come here. This is about a 45 degree angle backwards. We're going to place the cone about 10 to 12 yards out. So when he gets the football, we're going to make him make another cut and sprint it out here. All right. He's got the band strapped on. We're going to work with resistance. Again, six to eight reps with, or, or six to eight reps, excuse me with resistance, four to six without. Let's work for speed. Are we ready? Here we go. Be quick, be quick, be quick. Good. Be quick, be quick. All right. Let him run through it once without the football. Make sure he's ready to round the corner and he's got all the footwork down and then start getting into your training reps. He's got right. the bands on. He's ready to go. Here we go. Being quick, being quick. Get out and go, get out and go, get out and go. Good. Notice that when he got to the corner here, he really planted and hugged the corner and went. If you're coming to the cone here and you take that corner like this, you're never going to be able to make a, uh, a man miss, okay? So when you get here, we will really want to hug the corner, work to plant, and we're going to turn the corner as soon as you get there, all right? All right, one more with resistance, then we're going to go without. Here we go, here we go. Be quick, be quick, be quick. Good. Nice job. Take time in between reps. If you're too tired, we got to slow down. We're trying to recruit more muscles than we normally use. We're trying to make our feet move faster than we normally go. We have good arm, good arm action, good knee action, working with the resistance. And then when we take them off, we're going to push the pace, OK? So always push the envelope, working for speed. No sense in rushing through the exercises and not getting anything out of them. Work 100% effort, take breaks in between. I'm not talking five or 10 minutes, I'm talking get your breath in 40 seconds, go get another one. Here we go. Good, 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 good. Get out and go, get out and go. Good. You can add these with other workouts, the other drills we've been doing, put them all together and you're gonna have a nice speed day. Um, always push the pace, like I said. If you work half speed, you're not getting any results, so push it.